sad news for all of you, and I think uh, sad news for all of our fellow citizens and people who love peace all over the world. And that is that Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. These are words Achebe Turner will never forget. It's like our heart stopped. You know, stop breathing, <laughs> heart stop beating. Dedicated his life to love and to justice. Turner was only 19 when Bobby Kennedy spoke to the crowd gathered in this park at 17th and Broadway the night Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. Turner watched Kennedy deliver those words. Uh, like unbelief, like was this a cruel joke or something like that, but we knew he wasn't kidding, but it still had to sink in. It was a very hard night. Somewhere in that crowd, Brad Yoder was there too. He was 26. And it was just, I mean, it was the most moving speech I've ever heard in my life, just because of the whole context. Fifty years later, both men joined hundreds of others, including local, state, and national lawmakers, to remember that historic night. They attended a ceremony to commemorate Dr. King's death and Kennedy's speech that announced it while he campaigned in Indianapolis. It was a shocking moment. I cried. Congressman John Lewis was with Kennedy that night. He spoke in a video message at Wednesday night's ceremony. And tonight, Dr. King is speaking to each and every one of us, saying that we all can be better human beings. For every city needs its creed. And for Indianapolis, it was written by unity, peace, compassion, and forgiveness. And it was written on April 4, 1968. Those who remember being in this park that night and even those who weren't here hope the memory of what happened, the legacy of it, continues for generations. That's why people like Achebe Turner and Brad Yoder came to mark such an important anniversary so it will never be forgotten. Emily Longnecker, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. And a few hundred people also came together at Tabernacle Presbyterian Church to honor Dr. King's legacy. They celebrated King's message of nonviolent protest. Dr. King fought against segregation, discrimination, and poverty. To call him a dreamer would be to make his life a tale of mere fantasy. We have gathered tonight, beloved, to remember the life and moral witness of a 20th century martyr who walked into the temples of America and turned over the tables of conformity, bigotry, and hypocrisy. Two months before his assassination, Dr. King gave a sermon where he imagined his own funeral, saying he wanted to be remembered for serving others, not for his fame or his many accomplishments.